The following copblock.org video is brought to you by nevertakeaplea.org. I, I understand your position, I really do. But I'm going to not guilty for you. One sec. Are you going to represent yourself, which you have an absolute right to do? Say your intent? I'm fine with answering the allegations and having a conversation about the truth. You know, so. Yeah, I, I, what I'm asking though, sir, and it's kind of an important, important inquiry for you. Are you intending to represent yourself, hire an attorney, or seek court appointed? And I, I'm not trying to tell you which way to go, but I, we have to sort of know what you're going to do. I understand that I have no problem explaining the truth myself. So you're going to represent yourself? That's correct. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Uh, do me a favor, uh, get up to speed on the rules of procedure, evidence and stuff like that, because if this gets to a point where there's a trial with a jury, you're going to be you know, representing yourself and I'm going to have to hold you to the rules that everyone else has, okay? I understand that there might be rules, but I'm not agreeing to any list of rules or to follow any procedure. I'm willing voluntarily to uh, tell the truth of what happened. This is a frivolous charge and it's a headhunt, so. Well, I understand I understand, I understand that you feel strongly about your position, sir, but when we do get to the point of having to try the case, you're gonna try it in a manner that is consistent with the rules of criminal procedure and evidence. Or you'll have court appointed counsel or standby counsel, okay? I'm trying to help you here. Do you understand that? Well, sir, if you were trying to help me, you would uh, throw the charges out. Bail. State would ask for the standard conditions that the defendant keep on file with the court at current mailing address. Check daily at that address for receipt of notices in the case that he appear in court at all times. Let me just interrupt. Do we have your correct address so you do get your mail so that we're sending it to the right place? Um, I don't know. Uh, that the defendant appear in court at all times scheduled, that while on release he remain of good behavior and arrest free, and not commit any crime or driving while intoxicated offense. Good behavior, um, per case law, of course, means no felonies, uh, misdemeanors, uh, or other criminal behavior. Uh, in addition, that the defendant not own or possess any firearm, destructive device, or dangerous weapon, that he execute an appearance bond in the amount of $10,000, and that he execute a, wa a waiver of extradition approved by the court. Uh, Your Honor, I, the summary of facts that I would give you is simply essentially a recitation of the indictment. Um, you know what the allegations are. The defendant doesn't have a uh, criminal history at this point in New Hampshire, though I believe he has pending matters in the Manchester District Court regarding, regarding some um, essentially civil disobedience type acts around the, the police station, chalking it and whatnot. Um, those resulted in some criminal mischief and resisting arrest charges. I don't think those have been resolved yet. Um, but otherwise, the defendant obviously uh, wants to address these charges. I don't think he's a flight risk or otherwise a danger to the community. And so I think that uh, PR bond is appropriate. 
if you want to say. Uh, yeah. Well, let me, first, let me you understand what the, what the bail conditions are that the state's proposing. I understand. Uh, I think they're ridiculous to be playing, but uh, I have no intention of signing or removing or waiving any of my rights, and I also have no intention of not showing up to discuss the truth, like I stated before. Um, I've never missed a court date in any uh, time I've been demanded to come to these places by threat of violence, and I don't intend to now. I'm a full-time activist and blogger that I tend to highlight every one of these hearings to the fullest, and that I don't think my signature or any threat of money being taken from me or uh, release of my rights is warranted since I've never had a problem with showing up and I don't intend to not show up. Anything else? Anything else? No, sir. Okay. I'm going to strike the requirement that you're prohibited from possessing firearms, dangerous devices, or weapons. That's stricken. I'm reducing the PR bail from 10000 to 1000 So that's a performance bond. But I am going to require that you, as a condition of bail that you sign a waiver of extradition because you are suggesting that your mailing address thus residence is in, out of state. Okay? Your Honor, I'd also like to note on the record the reason I check off um, for all of these felony cases, the not owning or possessing a firearm, constructive device, or dangerous weapon, is because that's actually a federal law. So the court doesn't have to include it, obviously, as part of a condition of its bail order, um, but the defendant should be aware that it is a violation of federal law uh, when you are charged with a crime that is punishable by an excess of one year to own or possess any firearm. And so uh, regardless of whether this court orders it, it would be a federal crime for the defendant at this point to only gun. Okay. It's irrelevant. I'll commit to felon anyways. So we're talking nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Have a good day. Enjoy the holidays. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, I signed before. everything yeah. uh, Damo Freeman and that I didn't, with like rights reserved, mm -hmm. so that I wasn't really waiving my right of extradition, I hope. But I mean, I don't plan on leaving. And, You're doing it under coercion. Yeah. So... Um, whatever, we'll go to have a trial and see what happens there. Hopefully the court, like I said, I'm not agreeing to the rules. I don't care about the procedure. I'm going to bring up everything, everything that from the start to the beginning and why this is happening. I mean, six people were involved in this incident. Three are being prosecuted. Those so happen, those three just so happen not to work for the state. And the other three so happen to work for the state. And none of them have been prosecuted at all. So hopefully What's new? some sort of justice will prevail. All right. What's new? Thanks. Have you been charged with a victimless crime? Exercise your constitutional right to a trial. Refuse the plea deal and clog the courts. This way prosecutors will be forced to stop prosecuting people for victimless crimes. So visit nevertakeaplea.org and connect with the thousands of others refusing to take a plea deal for victimless crimes. Which doesn't mean you can't leave the state, it just means if you are out of state when you're supposed to be hearing the shit. Just threats, what we call.